babies it's your girl selena kareen here and we are back y'all i thought y'all was not gonna be gone for too long i can never forget about y'all I, 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 I can never okay we had a long journey together during october and i needed to take a break okay and get myself back together so i can come back and bring y'all these content bangers we are going to be back monday wednesday and friday every week every week so go ahead go ahead <laughs> Excuse me, let me do my intro. If you are new, hey girl, hey, hey boy, hey, however you define yourself as, it's cool. Go ahead and click that subscribe button, get this video a thumbs up and press the notification bell. If you are not new, hey Alina babies, I miss you. So today we are going to be doing another girl talk. Y'all know I said that I'm going to start doing more girl talks, more positive things, and more entrepreneur vlogs as well like that. So this girl talk, we're going to be getting a little real girly girl. So go ahead in the comments and tell me which one was your favorite topic or what you agree with or what you disagree with. Let's get started. So the first one we are going to talk about is how to get over a breakup. Let's role play, okay? I'm your sister, I'm your big sister. So this is coming from a big sister advice. It is never easy getting over a breakup. And I, some, I don't even mean like with friendships. I mean with family, with just a lot of things. It can even be a job or just anything that feels like you have to separate from somebody and you may never come back to. A breakup can really test you. You know what I mean? Like it can put you in a place where you feel like you would never go because this is the person you never thought this would happen to or this is the thing that you never thought this would happen to or from. And it just makes you rethink everything you have ever put into this everything you have ever thought about this and just the whole nine yards when you are getting over a breakup the first thing to do is i would say delete all memories you have if you have posted pictures if you have text messages and everything if you know in your heart this is never going to rekindle or it doesn't need to rekindle you need to delete all the memories so that you can start your healing process the healing process is so important a lot of people would get out of a relationship and jump right back into another one because for one they're scared of being lonely for two they want the other person to be jealous and for three they just don't know how to start healing and so it's very important that you start healing not for just yourself but for your future self because damage is real y'all if you do not take that healing out of that breakup or out of that situation that you was just in it is going to be 10 times harder for the next relationship for the next opportunity and things like that you have to make sure that like you are alleviating all people who will make you think about this or who will not support you or who will not help you get through this breakup because y'all when you have a heartbreak you can literally feel that in your chest like do you know people can literally die from a heartbreak like if you have lost a loved one or anything like that like you can literally die from a heartbreak it's hard to say to try and you know not feel that because you're hurt you're you, you feel hurt about this so it's like how am i even supposed to stop this feeling that i'm feeling when the thing or the person that has left is what i really and truly adored and love so me I when I went through a heartbreak when I went through a breakup my main thing was getting back on track focusing and turning all things to God like and I said that works for me like you know I'm going to always encourage you guys to pray to give it to God to just just let him have it because he's the only one that's going to be able to fix all these things that you are dealing with and so I decided that I can't do this on my own. Like I can't go through this breakup on my own. Like yeah, family is there, but they don't know exactly what you went through, exactly how you're feeling. Of course, everybody has been through a breakup, but everybody experiences or feelings are different. So some people are not gonna know the right things to say and they might mean it wholeheartedly and genuinely, but it comes off the wrong way because it's like, that's not the situation or this was the situation how can you be insensitive to that so i would say my personal opinion is to just give it to god to pray about it to just let him have it because he's the one that's going to be able to help you through it sis 
Another thing that you can do to get over a breakup is I listen to songs like uplifting songs and things like that when I went through a breakup. Things that like wasn't sad. Now, sometimes I did just want to cry and let it out. So I'll put on, you know, some Keisha Cole. Love, never know what I would miss them. But I knew one we started kissing. I found. Like I was, I was doing that. But then I was also listening to. I'm all ready, I'm all ready, I'm all ready now. I'm all ready, I'm all ready. I was listening to J. Cole, okay? Cricket Smile, okay? So you have to sometimes figure out what works for you. But from big sister to little sis to big sis to big sis, whoever sis, okay? Listen to me. Do not lose yourself in the process. It is so easy to lose yourself in the process of trying to figure out things, trying to get right back on track. And it's, it, it can happen just like this and you off track. So you need to start taking the initiative to knowing, okay, I know if I do this, I'm not gonna heal. Like I'm still gonna feel the same. I'm gonna treat people bad because I haven't healed. Or you can do, I know I need to do this because I need to heal. You know what I mean? So you have to understand and, and work with things that works for you, but do not lose yourself in the process. If you need a friend, if you're going through a breakup and you need a friend, Comment down in the comment section, I got you. I got you, we gonna get to this together, okay? So, uh, a lot of people have been requesting this as well. And I'm in a YouTube group chat and they also requested this. So I was like, let me go ahead and talk about it. Starting your period, starting your cycle, starting your menstrual cycle, whatever you decide to call it, your Aunt Flo, Aunt Mary, whoever it is, a lot of females be embarrassed about this. And it's like, sis, we can't help that, you know, we, we do this for a couple of days and what are you going to do to stop it? You know what I mean? Like, why are you feeling so embarrassed about it? And it took me a while to understand. And a lot of people can be jerks. A lot of people can can be cruel and mean. You can, you know, start your, your cycle in school and you bleed through. Or you can start your cycle in the store, in the car, on your first date, or things like that. And I get it. It is embarrassing. But that other person or other people should know that it's natural. And we can't stop that. I wish we, you know, didn't have to go through this type of thing. But under the circumstances, it happens to females. So I would just say about this topic, do not feel embarrassed about that. Okay, like it's it's natural. There's nothing we can do about it. Just make sure you always, even if it is not that time of the month, just always carry, you know, your pads or your tampons, feminine wipes, things like that. And it may not even be for you. You might be helping somebody else out there. They just started the period or something. They don't have nothing. And you like, oh, I always stay on stash and you can help the next person. So with that, I would just say, don't be embarrassed. It's natural. And whoever feel like they could talk about you, let me know and your big sis got you. So this next topic is natural hair. I, you know, for the longest, and I really, really regret, you know, going through this and having it put in my head. But if I could suggest something, I would suggest do not put chemicals or perms in your hair. Like natural hair is so beautiful whether you have 3A or 4C. Your hair is your hair and you're beautiful with it. Your hair does not define you. Your hair does not make you. So a lot of people be like, oh, I don't have curls, my hair is nappy. No, your hair is not nappy if you're taking care of it. Nappy is when you don't comb it, when you don't brush it, when you don't wash it, when you, when you don't take care of it, that's when it becomes nappy, when you can't comb through it. Like natural hair, whether you are Caucasian or African American or in between or whatever color shade you are, natural hair is your hair. It, it came from your roots. Like you can't control how brittle it looks, how thin it is, how thick it is, how curly it is, how straight it is, whatever it is, it's your hair. So I see a lot of females, a lot of people always downgrading their cells because a lot of curly hair people get you know praise more things like that and first off uh shame on you if you feel like you can downgrade or talk about the next person because their hair is not like yours i just never understood that 
but I would just say, just make sure you are, you are loving yourself because that's where all this comes from. Love yourself. Okay. What I say? Thank you. Thank you for understanding. Love yourself. Okay. Next one. Colorism issues, y'all. Colorism issues. Everybody, I feel like everybody experiences colorism issues, whether it's talking about white people, talking about black people, talking about your hair, talking about, oh, they want to act black. Oh, you talk white. First off, how can you talk a color? How? Or do you mean I talk proper? Or do you mean I talk with slang? Help me understand, because <laughs> I, I don't understand. A lot of people deal with colorism issues, whether it's, oh, you're pretty for a black girl. What does that mean? I'm pretty as myself. You're pretty for a white girl. What does that mean? Pretty as myself. You're pretty for a Mexican. What, what does that mean? Okay? Because just let me know. <laughs> let, let me know and let me understand what you're trying to say so I can help you understand and not be sounding ignorant. Because that's ignorant. Okay, I feel like colorism should not even be an issue or it should even be a thing because for one, we cannot help who we are as far as our color. We are born this way. And for those who feel like you have to change your color or you have to go three shades lighter, or three shades darker on your makeup, baby girl, you do not have to. Do not listen to them. Do not listen to them because as soon as you fall into that trap, they're on to the next person and now you're feeling how you're feeling about yourself. And then I'm going to have to find who made you feel how you feel about yourself. It's just a lot of stuff that just could be prevented. Okay. Just love yourself. Y'all, I'm going to keep saying after every topic, like love yourself. I cannot stress that enough because for so long, I went through not loving myself, thinking I'm fat, thinking I'm ugly, thinking my hair is too short, thinking my hair is not curly enough. Love yourself. If you don't love yourself, I love you next topic so <laughs> hygiene again i'm gonna be slow so i'm gonna keep it a buck with you okay ladies please 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 i said please please make sure you keep up with yourself uh drink water every day every day whether it's two glasses of water or something make sure you you got some quench of thirst from h2o okay make sure you are washing your behind your front hind and all around okay make sure you get up under there get behind there get behind your ears all that a lot of females do not take this serious and they be wondering why they feel the way they feel or just things that's thrown off about their ph balance it's because you need to take care of your hygiene your hygiene includes your hair your hygiene includes your skin your hygiene includes washing up brushing your teeth putting the udder and all putting lotion on, putting lip gloss on to not make your lips look crusty. Yes. And if you need some lip gloss, holla at your girl in the link description because I sell wholesale lip gloss. I got you. Don't even worry about it. But I would say hygiene is so important and you guys need to take that into accountability. Let me find out my little sisters are not taking care of their hygiene. It's, 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 it's going to be a long talk and mom's not going to be able to help you. Okay, next one. Focus on the good stop focusing on the negative if you have not seen my think more positive less negative it is an i card and i want you all to go and watch that video and comment up under it that you guys came from this video as well i want us to start thinking more positive and thinking less negative because like i said us being humans it's so easy for us to just think negative think about the what ifs y'all i'm going to be dropping a book very soon i'm not going to say out the details just yet until it's about to be launch day but just know i talk about these type of topics in there and talk about entrepreneurialism and stuff like that but Stay tuned for that because that's a whole different other uh, 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 vlog. I want you guys to literally journal down every day something positive about yourself. Whenever you feel negative, whenever you feel down about yourself, just keep rereading that positive that you have for yourself. I know so many people who have fallen into depression, have anxiety and things like that about themselves because they focus so much on the negative. And like I said, it's very quick for us to just think of the doubts and 
just fully push away the positive stuff and then you're trying to figure out why is all this negative stuff surrounding you is because you haven't even thought of one positive thing from the situation so i just want to say circle it all back love yourself okay i'm not gonna i'm gonna say it again but y'all need to listen so that was all for our first vlog back y'all i missed y'all so much and like i said i will be vlogging monday wednesday friday so be making sure you have your bells on and make sure you hit that subscribe button give this video a thumbs up and press that notification bell y'all we are back i missed y'all and i know y'all missed me so go ahead and hit the subscribe and the bell and i got y'all and i will see y'all on wednesday i love y'all bye